and I'm a registered massage therapist here at Sutherland Chan. As we know, it is getting warmer out, meaning that it is dragon boating season at the moment. So I used to dragon boat in the past for many years, and I know that it's a great form of exercise, it's a really great team sport, but you also have a huge potential to get injured. So I really wanted today to stress the importance of stretching before and after you dragon boat. So I'm going to be showing you three simple stretches you can use um, just when you're finished your workout. Okay, so the first stretch I'm going to show you is one for the chest area or like the pec muscles. Um, I know from doing dragon boating in the past that especially during like starts and finishes, you use a lot of chest really when you're just like doing the quick um, strokes. So it's a really good idea to stretch out like this whole area just so, and also because you're leaning forward a lot. So the easiest stretch to do for your pecs is basically so I'll get Lawrence, he's going to be our demo, and you just stand perpendicular to the wall. So this is the wall here, and so you'll, your shoulder will be perpendicular to the wall. And you're going to be stretching the side that's closer to the wall. So I'm going to get you to bring your arm up, and basically take, I want you to take your forearm, so this part here, and put it against the wall, like so. Okay, and then with your legs, what you want to do is you want to stagger your legs. So you want one to go forward. It doesn't really matter which one, but probably the outer one is more comfortable. And with this arm anchored against the wall like this, your leg forward, just lean your body forward. So just keep it all upright. Yeah, so keep it all in line here like this. And just lean forward until you feel like a stretch into this area here. So do you feel a stretch with that? Yeah, just all the chest. Yeah, just into the chest. And basically every time you're doing a stretch, you just want to be breathing normally. And then probably hold it for about 20, 30 seconds, but really until you kind of feel maybe a little bit of release. Does that feel okay? Yep. And you can relax. So the second stretch I'm going to show you is one for basically the part, the hips in the front here, so the anterior hip muscles. Um, they're your, called your hip flexors, so they're the ones that basically are working when you bend like this. So obviously we know when we're paddling or dragon boating, you're always kind of in this position. So these muscles here get really tight. So the best way to stretch this, I find, is uh, you have to do also, just like the pec stretch, one side at a time um, and get you to go on your knee. So you can pick a knee to go down on, yeah, just like that. So in this case, kind of think about your, your knee just being at a right angle here to the ground. And really, once you're in this position, I just want you to just lean your entire body forward, like so. Yeah. So really what you're getting is a stretch in this area right here. So it kind of started a bit at 90 degrees, the knee, and then as you lean forward, it's obviously going to increase the angle here, and then increase the stretch here. Okay? And do you feel a stretch with that? Yep, just for down the hips. Yeah, so down the hips the here. Quads, but... Yeah, exactly. So that's where you want to be feeling it. You want to feel it here, and you may feel it a little bit into the, the front of your thigh, which is okay too, but I think the main focus would, should be here. You can also enhance that stretch a bit by um, lifting your arm up, and then going over to the side. Like so. Okay, so this will add a little bit more, just maybe onto the side as well. And similar to the other, so anytime you do a stretch, you know, be breathing normally, hold it 20 to 30 seconds, and make sure that there's no pain. Okay? So the last stretch I'm going to be showing you is for like, the side of the hips as well as into like the buttock region, like your glute muscles. So also when you're dragon boating, I mean, you definitely like sometimes like lock your feet into the boat to really like give yourself momentum. So when you're basically pulling yourself back you, and your feet are locked in, you're using a lot of muscles just in the back here. So to stretch those, um, you can basically lay down. So you can, this is on a table, you can do it on the floor, you can do it on a mat, whatever works for you. So if you lay down, just on your back like, like Lawrence is here. And once again, you're gonna stretch one side first and then the other side. So in order to stretch, you're gonna stretch your left side. So you're going to take your left leg, bring it up, and then bring it across your body like so. Right? So you try to keep your shoulders square on to the ground or the surface, and pull your leg across like this. So if it helps, you can use your own arm and just push it down a little bit to give yourself a little bit more of a stretch. Right? And then you can just hold it and breathe normally. Um, do you feel a stretch there? Yeah, it's my back. Okay, so you can also feel it a little bit into your, a little into your lower back, and then into the side of your hip, and possibly into also like the glute area, like I explained before. All right, and then when you're done, just 
Okay. So I hope you learned something from the stretches that I just showed you. Um, they're really easy to implement into your workout plan. So make sure that you do them before and after a workout and also make sure that you do both the right and left side as I only showed you one side when I was um, demonstrating on Lawrence. And if you have any dragon boating related or paddling related injuries or any kind of muscle tension, don't be afraid to give us a call here at Sutherland Chair.